Hello everyone and welcome back to another Space Engineers speed build. Today we are going to be working more on our modular outpost house thing again. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of refinement and getting it set up to where hopefully, not this episode, but the next episode, which if everything goes right, this will be on Thursday. So Monday after this video releases uh, will be the release of the set, the tile set kind of thing, to the Steam Workshop, which a lot of people have been asking for, both in the comments and over on a couple of discords. So that will be really exciting to finally get to put this out. I've actually been really shocked the kind of enthusiasm for this build, so I wanted to kind of get a little polish on it. I did a lot of uh, texture work, and this video is even going to be over time to the normal ones and it's going to be faster than I've been wanting to do. So this is at 500 times. It was over an hour and a half, I think, without speeding. And this was in, I believe, in a couple... Yeah, I think this was all half an hour sessions. It was just massive. So I started out working on the airlock bit, which turned into a hallway bit. So then I was able to do a lot with that. I also put windows in it. So there's, that's going to be kind of like a, a spacer thing. And so I wanted to get, the, the entire idea for this was to get a building that you could just pick out some rooms and go with that with minimal having to edit the individual blocks itself. Unfortunately, the walls, you will have to edit not quite a bit, but where door placements are between the kitchen, dining room area, the bedroom, and the bathroom. There is a kind of a couple inconsistencies but they're necessary because the table blocks off one side but not the other so you'll see that when we go to live play um, I did play around with a lot of lighting in the hallway I just didn't go any further with the hallway because I was spending way too much time on it uh, here are the windows that I'm putting in I spent a good amount of time trying to figure out what we were when I actually ended up with this weird cage look. I would let in this weird kind of slotted light thing when you uh, get the light beams on the inside. And I really, really like that look, especially for sci-fi. It's this weird kind of safe lighting because you have that barrier. And here's me. I, I was playing with the lighting for just so long. It's, Duplicated it out. I just I really like the lighting that it gives. And I don't know why it would work really well for a uh, a space station, especially if you're trying to make um, like an eerie space corridor. If you have like stuff floating around in the middle, red lights and such. Yeah, it'd be a really nice set piece. I believe after this, I go on to the well, the airlock. I finish off the hallway to the airlock, and then I go into the kitchen. I put lighting a bit to kind of find the balance between it's a hallway, get it probably lit, and give it a little bit of character with these orange lights. And then just play with the time of day to make sure it all works well. So it doesn't lose too much lighting when the, the light's not shining at it. So I do a couple of variants, I believe. So I have a windowed, a not windowed, and then a... I forget what the other one was. Uh, we have a windowed, a not windowed, and then a bigger window. So we have the two slot windows, and then we have this kind of normal window you'd see in most corridors. At least most that I do. Uh, it's this, I think I used a 2 by 3 block. And getting the border around this window was kind of hard, because it was, it was... Because the window, how I wanted to do the shape of it, the window had to be outside the block, so I had to figure out how to flow into it itself. So here's uh, the airlock work. I did mess up the first time and put it weirdly on the inside until I realized that the uh, block count or the length of it was different. But all in all, I think it worked out really well. A 
more interesting. Then make sure the lights all work and put in a red light. Though I don't actually think that red light will be in the final version. It just doesn't look great. Uh, you can also put in your lights that you want to do afterwards. It just looks very just red. I wanted to make it look like, hey, the airlock's not cycled. Don't use the door kind of thing. So I knew definitely that I was going to need to rebuild a lot of it, especially with the window placements. So I'm tearing it apart. I believe I'm ripping apart the, the bathroom from the kitchen. I think that's where we're at now. Uh, I realized that half of my stuff that I've already built is gone. So hopefully it'll be in a backup. Because I haven't actually published anything back there and I didn't save it, so... The kitchen stuff is just no reason. Speaking of the kitchen, I also had to move that back into the wall uh, a couple blocks because it was not in the wall. It was basically plast plastered inside the wall, which made it like a double thick wall, which one gave you less area to move inside and wouldn't let me build a window behind it. It just kind of, it functioned weird. I'm not going to say it functioned, didn't function, because I'm still not convinced with all the paneling and stuff I had to do on the other side. I uh, did a lot of these weird, like, crevices in the building, just to give the walls texture. But not, not to take away from the simplicity of it. start remodeling that really quickly. Nope, windows first. So, with these windows it was a lot harder uh, because it's, I believe it's five? Five wide? Five or six wide? No, it's gotta be five wide. It was, it was an odd number, so either way I'd have to use two different blocks. I just was upset. <laughs> I could have shortened the window, but it would have looked disproportionate. So what I ended up doing is using uh, two one by threes and then two two by threes. I don't know why I didn't do a two by three by yeah two by three window instead. But it's what I did. So I assume I had a good reason. It's kind of just what I did. Pretty sure I just yeah I just put in the the bevel kind of area from the back instead of adding that third window. Now I'm working on the uh, the floor texture to make sure it's not just a single texture on the floor. Uh, I opted more towards uh, larger blocks than the carpet tiles that I love so much the mod carpet tiles um, because the Carpet tiles are actually scaled down textures to their large block counterparts. So they don't come through in the grayest of ways. They are very, it's very hard to get what the texture is. Like the wood is very, very, it looks like splinter wood. It's just it's bad. I just wish people could make large textures for small blocks and it'd be fine and easy, but half space series works. It doesn't, it doesn't like it. You have to go in and retexture and remodel each block in a mod, um, but there is a way to just like, hey, scale this down to small block style and it'll do that fine, but it scales all the textures. Uh, so we're remodeling the, the table now, table and chairs, and basically we're just kind of squishing it a bit into the corner, making it a little smaller, a little uh, more bespoke. So instead of using the inverts uh, LCD, I use these half blocks, which gives it kind of a uh, more RV type feel. It's definitely smaller, which I really like in front of the window. Uh, still, I just spent a little bit of time just trying to figure out uh, if it was a good mix of blocks and such. 
just to make sure that it was the right size for everything. It ended up being really good. So I think... I think we're working on the uh, bedroom floor now, yeah. It's basically the same thing, put in a couple of catwalks just to break up the texture of the floor. And move the desk over to the other side as well. So now on to the bathroom. Actually ended up remaking quite a bit of it. Because it was hard to move around as a character and it just... A lot of things weren't lining up. It did end up making the shower way bigger than it really should be. I suppose I could artificially shrink it. Actually, that sounds like a pretty good idea. I probably will do that uh, before or in the next episode where we publish it. Um, coloring is another thing we're going to have to be doing in the next episode. Uh, just to get different colors in it. Not necessarily to get final colors, but just to... Uh, give it a baseline so it's easy to see like this should be third, second, fourth color and such. So this is kind of the shape we go for. Uh, I did want to make sort of something was here to block off the kind of visual flow between the shower and the rest of the bathroom so it looked like it would hold water. So I fussed with that for probably 10 or so minutes. Just trying to get it right. Also, in the shower, I wanted to make paneling to cover up these vents and to give it a little more texture because it is a tighter space. So the tighter spaces you normally want a higher level of detail just so it doesn't look disproportionately empty. So like if you were to look at a mountain range, you just saw mountains, it wouldn't look that weird to going through a forest with it only trees. Or going into a house that's like a model house with no personal items anywhere. So it's just a proportion of uh, density of objects. And I'm probably not the best to be talking on the subject, but I understand the concept of it. At least to a level that I know how to implement it. Like for skyscrapers, they don't have much on the outside and they don't need to. So, just kind of like that stuff. Uh, keep getting this build a stupid error. So we have the shower in there, and look, like I said, it's a bit bigger than it should be just because that's how it ended up. And like I said, I'm probably gonna shrink it artificially just by putting blocks in the wall and shrinking it in. Uh, the rest of the bathroom was really easy because of the increased size. Basically, put it in the sink, put it in the towel rack, and put it in the toilet. Uh, so. Uh, armor panels for the outside to kind of hide the uh, catwalks I use for the inside. Uh, I ended up removing part of them to connect it to the other modules. I did put a little bit of color in, just for the top. And then we have all that working. Pretty sure, yeah, right after paneling. Pretty sure after paneling, I start messing with the modules themselves and seeing if any of them really work well together. Uh, I do need a couple of transitional blocks, I think. Still in the next episode, because it it works well between these three. So if you put the how I set it up the first time, which is kitchen on the uh, kitchen between the bad bathroom and the bedroom. Um, but if you do any other configuration, each bathroom and the bedroom only have one door, and the kitchen is the only place with two doors, so I need probably another, either more corridors or more, another or so room that has two doors in it. And that would be probably all that's in the, at least module count, in the released version. So here we are, and this is what I mean, we had to move the door. So it's not a lot of work that has to be done, especially because none of the uh, flourishes and any of the walls need to be changed. And I really like how it turned out, especially walking through the spaces. They feel a little bit more 
thought out. I was trying to add some extra bit onto the wall for not a good reason. It wasn't really a good reason to do that. Just to kind of add, add some exterior look to it so it wasn't just plain. So I ended up just doing these, these bezels again in quite a bit of place. I also ended up doing these weird kind of over the window area that was really, really nice. Because it just kind of took the window that was out in the middle of nowhere and stuck it out a bit. So I'm still not convinced on the uh, whole back end of the, the kitchen area because it does have that piece on the bottom and it's so many panels. So many. That's like the only window on that side of the building, so I, I tried to sneak in at least one window in the kitchen, in the kitchenette area. So that's mostly it. A lot of looking it over, trying to see what else I can do. Uh, there's a lot of coloring that still has to do, and a lot of things that I've now noticed in this video that I'll probably go back and change once we get there. So yeah, I'm really liking this build. So I guess I will just see you guys in the live real-time playthrough look around thing. Yeah. Alright, here we are in real-time. I'm looking at it. I actually really like how it came out. There's those slight changes, the window shape, the little bezels. bathroom panels came out really well. I'm not quite sure about back here. It does. It seems just like I need something to order the window. Maybe if I look just... This is one of those things you're just gonna have to find out what works and what doesn't when you're building it out in the uh, in the world which you're building this outpost in. That's that's unfortunate. Um, just ignore that for now. Uh, a lot of little holes that little edge cases that this uh, this tile set will make. So I didn't do any relighting on the inside. I'll probably do that just off screen because it doesn't make much sense to do it on screen, especially in a speed build. It's very nuancy and very slow. So yeah, the tiles on the floor give everything this kind of, this nicer, not so samey kind of feel to it. It's really nice. So we got the smaller table, a much, much larger bathroom. Like, oh my gosh, this thing's huge. But it does feel very, except for the shower size, it just feels very mobile at home kind of feel. And that's what I was going for. A very mobile home kind of feel. It does feel a bit deep. The house does feel a bit deep in the kitchen. Because I did push that back, that one block. But it's, it's fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Definitely leave, leave a like if you did. And if you want to see more of it, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And in the next episode, we should be finishing this up for putting on the workshop. And hopefully getting to our next project, which I have no idea what that next project will be. I kind of want to put, like, a bezel here. Actually, we could probably use that. Oh, did that, that just... Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah.
next project coming soon. Hopefully. One more episode of this, this outpost. I think we're gonna, after the outpost is done and out in the workshop, we'll probably get to something completely different. No more elements, no more this. Um, we'll return this at a later time. So next episode, release of this. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.